question is to the Minister for Energy. If I get the Deputy Prime Minister to move a bit so I can see, make sure she's listening. Uh, order. Minister, order. why are you doing nothing? Why are you doing zero to help almost 300 people, many of them families, in Wodonga and also throughout northeastern and eastern Victoria, who have been unable to move into their new homes since August last year due to union work bans by the ETU targeting Ausnet networks in country Victoria? Minister. Speaker, thank you. And uh, I thank the member for their question. And, Speaker, we always encourage uh, all parties concerned in any industrial dispute to sit down and work through the issues and resolve them so that communities can Order. receive the benefits of the services that are being provided. This case is no different, and uh, certainly we have been encouraging well, the, the parties Hawthorne, to do just that. The member for Hawthorne I know has already that, been warned. Uh, we encourage them to do that. Certainly, these matters can be very frustrating for uh, some Victorians who are caught up in this. We encourage them to do that. Our services are always available through uh, industrial relations uh, portfolio and the minister to be able to assist with this matter. Thanks, Speaker. Uh, supplementary question is, uh, Robin King of Yakandanda now faces the prospect of homelessness with her three school-aged children because of this dispute. Nilesh Singh of Banala will now have to pay both the mortgage for a house he can't move into, as well as rent on a home that isn't large enough for his family, including his 82-year-old father and 76-year-old old mother. Minister, can you tell these families and all other families who are suffering from these union work bans, when will you finally do something, when will you finally act to end this dispute and when will their power be connected? What I would advise, what I advise, what I advise all Victorians who have uh, emergency or extreme cases of difficulties, that Osnet services have made it absolutely clear that they will take uh, action to provide assistance to those, to those families who are order. in urgency. Order. order, the leader of the opposition on a point Speaker, of order. In the relation to relevance for the minister's answer. She was asked very clearly by the member for, by ben member for Benambra, when is she going to do something to end a dispute that's been going on since August? When is the minister for energy going to do something Order, to get the these Minister's families Footscrow. power connected? It's not for the minister to talk about any other matters about SP Osnet. It's about the question which was direct to her about when will she do something? Leader of the Nationals. Order. Leader of the Nationals on the point uh, of thank order. Thank you, Speaker. Can I support the, uh, the point of order by the Leader of the Opposition? The member for Benambra is very clearly asking questions on behalf of his community because he cares about his community. It is obviously, it is, it is obviously past the parcel on the other side of the House that no one actually wants to do anything. The member for Footscray will leave the chamber for the period of one hour. That no Leader one actually Nationals. on that side of the House wants to do anything about the community that the member for Benambra is asking this question about, and I ask you to bring the minister back to actually answering the question that he asked. Speaker, I would encourage any families in any part of Victoria that may be impacted by this dispute to make contact with Osnet services who have absolutely made it clear that they would deal with any emergency services so that Victorians are not Order. adversely disaffected Order. when they are in an emergency the situation. Member for Caulfield on a point of order. Yes, Speaker, this was clear, a clear question about what the minister is doing about this, not what Osnet is doing, but what the minister, the minister is responsible, or should be responsible, order. for turning the lights on and keeping the lights on, of which neither has seemed to be happening order. at the moment. What is the minister doing for those two families order. that can't get connected because a minister that abdicates her order. responsibility? 